so we just arrived at uh, Delta. Um, we were originally going to stay at a resort called Coco Key. Uh, the place was terrible, so terrible, we're trying to get refunds, and we've been on hold for forever. Uh, insert some footage of that here. <laughs> But before I show you the room, I want to show you guys the pool, because it looks fantastic. Uh, we've been here a few times before, and it's great. So we're going to go ahead and cut to that real quick. started raining while we're in the spa and she loves it Hi. sucks for the people who had the Orlando Informer meetup tonight <laughs> I bet the pew two are soaked hello <laughs> so anyways this is one of the spas that the place has it's a nice little spa it can probably fit about maybe 10 people in it but they have another one. Five people? Yeah. They have another one with a waterfall attached to it um, over yonder. I was going to get footage of it, but I don't think I can tonight. All in all, we really like this resort, but... Um, it's been under heavy it's, renovation. It's been under heavy renovation, for one. Welcome back. Hope you liked the pool and we enjoy it every single time we're here. And now for the quick little room tour. Come in. It's a simple, you know, hotel room with a king-size bed. It's fairly nice. Got a nice little bathroom. They're very... <laughs> these are newly renovated rooms. We have a pool view room, which means we can see the heated pool outside. And the spas nearby. It's currently raining. And thunder. And thunder. And possibly raining. We don't know. And, uh, yeah, so... This is the uh, Delta um, by Marriott at Celebration in Kissimmee, Florida. It's a very nice hotel. We stay here quite often. It's usually our fail safe if something goes wrong, uh, such as it did today. What do you want to say about Coco Key? Roach to meet you. Oh. Yeah, there were roaches. Oh. If you plan on staying at Coco Key, uh, don't. It's bad. Place reeked of weed, which. Okay, fine, whatever, but she has sensitivities to smell, which is a problem. Um, they had roaches, the rooms had stains on the walls, the pillows were bad. We would have gotten footage if it weren't for the fact that we were so disgusted that we wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. Um, we're now working on getting refunds for that. Who knows when that'll happen. Um, but yeah, we decided to come over here to the Delta instead because it's just generally a nicer hotel. So. Now that we've been on hold for over 30 minutes and hanging up, uh, well, hung up on three times, uh, we're gonna try and call back and see if we can't get this figured out. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy some B-roll of the hotel. They have a nice little poolside bar over here. They got a little bonfire spot over here where they have fires sometimes where you can sit around. Here's the main pool. It's got a little slide and everything. And then to the left of the pool, or the right of the pool, you got a nice little tucked away area back here, a little pathway. With some nice little waterfalls. 
that leads to a nice little private hidden away spa with a waterfall going into it. It's a very beautiful resort. We've done a great job of renovating this place. I used to come here before it was owned by Delta and I've never had any issues, but ever since Delta took over, they've been fixing all the problems that the old resort had. stay here um depending on how many people you have here which you can use towards food and stuff here so that includes breakfast i think they had a really nice assortment of breakfast foods up there but i'm not sure it's worth 18 dollars. so definitely use your voucher if you got one Got back from breakfast um, it was pretty good um, they had a decent amount to offer uh, it was it was healthier options as well as a bunch of unhealthy typical American breakfast options um, I did want to mention uh, we were talking about this yesterday the uh, the Expedia thing that we had with the other resort that we were originally gonna stay at the Coco Key uh, we did in fact get a refund for that and it will be coming through soon um, so that's all taken care of. Uh, I don't recommend staying at Coco Key, um, especially if you have certain sensitivities to auditory things or smells. Uh, the place was also just kind of disgusting to begin with, so I, I don't recommend it. Um, scratches on the ceiling. What the hell happened? I want to know. Who died? They were, maybe they were having a uh, there with chickens or something. Cockroach fights. Cockroach fights, yeah. Uh, so we're going to go over a quick list of uh, the pros and cons of um, staying here at Delta. Um, keep in mind this is a Marriott resort, so, you know, you're getting this, the standard Marriott treatment when you come here, which is usually pretty good depending on where you stay. Let's go over the pros first. Uh, the staff is very nice. Um, they, they've helped us with plenty of things. We've not had any issues with them. The security is very nice. Um, and that's also a pro, the fact that they genuinely have security is also very nice to know. Because um, some places they don't have security at all and you'll hear fights constantly at night, especially here in Orlando, things can get kind of crazy. Um, another pro is the location. Uh, it's a pretty nice location, there's plenty of shops nearby, especially if you're 24 hour shops like Walgreens, which is nice to have when you need something in the middle of the night or if you're just out late, you need something to get, you can get it there. Um, there's plenty of restaurants. Speaking of, um, there's a place called Hokkaido nearby. Uh, there's two locations. I'll show you the one that is the one that you want to go to. And also, uh, insert some footage. The better location is in Apopka. Okay, so the better location is in Apopka. Do not go last. Do not. It's so bad, but right on the back to me. Yeah, go to, go to the Apopka one. It's a lot better. Insert some footage of that here for you. Um, so if there's no footage playing right now, I'm a liar. So the next pro on our list is, uh, they've upgraded this place a lot. 
so this used to be owned by a different company, and now uh, it's owned by Marriott, so they've been kind of renovating the place. And this place was already nice to begin with before they renovated, but now that they've started renovating, it's amazing. Um, but that also leads into a con that I'll talk about later. Next on the pros list, uh, the mattress, very comfortable. It's um, just the right amount of firm and soft. It's very, it's very comfortable, and we had a pretty good time with the mattress. That sounds odd. Anyways, uh, the pools are great. That's another comp, uh, pro. Uh, the pools are fantastic. There's uh, a warm pool, a cold pool, and two spas. And the spas are nice and hidden away, as I showed you in uh, the footage earlier. Um, they're they're just really they're really nice areas. They have a waterfall that leads in their pool as well as a nice little slide. Um, the cold pool can get a little cold, but it is the cold pool, so. You have a cold pool and a warm pool, and the warm pool is usually the one that we prefer, but I will say that the cold pool is very nice on a hot day. One thing that's nice is... Huh? Uh, one thing that's nice is they have a little coffee shop, a bar and grill, a poolside bar, and a small little necessities store in the lobby, which is nice to have because they just have things that you might need in there, so that's good to have. Uh, on top of that, one of their other amenities is they have a 24-7 gym available for anyone who's trying to work on their health. Um, so that's that's an option. On top of that, we have plenty of uh, plug outlets in this room. Did I mention that yet? We have a lot of outlets in this room, which means we can charge everything we ever would need to charge. And that's good for us, considering we have a lot of camera gear to charge. Um, the countertops in this room are really nice, too, so that's a good pro. Um, everything in here is made of a really nice, I think it's granite. Uh, the tabletops, the countertops, even the little TV area, the, the bathroom, everything's great. So if you spill something on these tables, you ain't gotta worry about anything. It's really nice. Um, the security was nice, we, we talked about that. Um, oh, the most, the, like the most important pro is that this hotel is very beautiful. It's a very pretty place, the resort's nice, everything is very clean and well kept here and there's plenty of plant life and stuff that makes the place look great. Um, and I think that's all I have for the pros. Oh, the the bedrooms do have mini fridges and coffee makers. Uh, they don't have a microwave anymore because they, they used to have a microwave before Marriott took over but they don't anymore. So keep that in mind if you want a microwave they, they don't have one in a room. Um, and now for the part that's most important to people, uh, the price. That is a pro. The price here for a room can be as low as 60 to $70 a night. And for the amount of stuff you're getting for 60 to $70 a night, it is fantastic. Um, obviously during like busy times of year, that price can go up to almost $100, if not 120 or so, but you know, for, for the price of $70 a night on most, like a majority of the year, it's it's really it's really worth it. So keep that in mind. So let's start with our list of cons. Um, every hotel has them. Uh, it's the way it is. There's, you're never gonna find the perfect hotel or the perfect resort. The pillows and the covers in this bedroom are pretty terrible. I didn't personally mind the covers, but my wife hated them. Um, the pillows, however. If you like really soft pillows that don't support your neck and let your head droop, then they're going to be great for you. But if you don't like that, I'm sorry, you're, you're just going to be in pain all night. So either ask for more pillows, get a room with two beds so you can steal the extra pillows, or buy some and bring some pillows with you because you're going to need them. The king size bathroom in this place is nice, but it's weirdly set up and it's claustrophobic. Um, the door hits the toilet. It opens right between your legs if you have to open the door while you're on the toilet or something. I don't know why you would have to, but just in case, you never know. Maybe someone wants to walk in and brush their teeth. Uh, while you're, brush your teeth. Or brush your teeth for you. <laughs> uh, the main pool, um, we mentioned that it's a cold pool. It gets very cold, um, especially at night. So you're definitely going to want to use that pool during the daytime and not nighttime because it gets very cool. Um, on Saturdays, when we were here last, we had this issue. I don't know about now, but they have these weird pool parties, which most of you guys might like, but for people like us who like it quiet, or for my wife who has sensory issues with uh, sounds, the dance parties that they have at the pool can make it almost unusable because it is just horribly loud. 
that leads into another con where if you have a poolside room and you've had a late night and you're trying to sleep in and it's a Saturday, good luck. It's it's not gonna be fun. Um, now, with the renovations, that being a pro, it also comes with a con. There's constant construction and renovation. So a lot of the elevators that are being used for construction or things like that are off limits, which means you have to wait for one elevator usually per area, and it takes a little while. Sometimes it's easier just to take the stairs. Um, but yeah, the, the elevators are a little bit, ish, bit of an issue. Another thing, uh, one of our pros was location. Yeah, we're 15 minutes away from the parks. That's pretty good if you have your own vehicle. If you don't have your own vehicle, uh, sorry, but you're, you're going to be stuck in traffic for a bit, um, waiting on Ubers and going through all this stuff. And if you don't leave at the right time to get to the parks, that 15 minute drive could turn into like a 30 minute drive. So keep that in mind. Um, if you don't have a vehicle, there's no shuttle buses here. So the only way to and from the parks. Yeah, make sure you plan. You need a vehicle. Um, if you're an international traveler, this might not be the place for you. But if you're just coming in from Florida or another state and you have your own vehicle, it's a good place to stay. Um, another another con that I wanted to mention, um, and this goes for this goes for larger families or international travelers that are bringing a bunch of people or just larger groups in general. They do not have any multi-room suites here. They only have a standard version of the room a deluxe standard, a king, and a deluxe king. These rooms can be connected through a little door, and I'll, I'll kind of a door right there. Um, so that means you can have multiple rooms connected to each other, but you're not going to have like a standard suite with like a kitchen and things like that. This is just a, a standard hotel slash resort. There are no, no suites here, so keep that in mind. And then finally, our last little con here. Parking can be a pain in the ass. I am sorry, but their parking is terrible. Their parking lots are probably not the best thing I've seen at any hotel ever. They do have some large parking lots, but the way the buildings are set up makes it almost impossible to utilize them, for one. Uh, and two, the parking the parking lots at the buildings that matter, so like if you're just happen to be like, let's say you're in the room that we're in right now, are so small that if you happen to just come home or come back to the hotel just a little bit late, uh, good luck finding a parking spot because you might have to park on the complete opposite side of the resort and then walk your way back to your room. It can be a, a bit of a mess. I've noticed that they've cut down on the amount of people uh, who they allow to stay here, I think, which is why we've had pretty good parking. That or it's because they're still renovating, which means some of the rooms aren't available, so there's plenty of parking spaces available right now. But I've been to this park, or I've been to this resort on a busy time before, uh, during Halloween Horror Nights a couple years back, and I can tell you, parking was horrible during that time. So keep that in mind, you may have sh you may have trouble with parking. Also, um, people drive like maniacs in parking lots. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, with that being said, um, I would say I would personally give this hotel 3.8 out of 5, probably, uh, in regards to what I would rate it. It's a nice place to stay, that's for sure. It does have its problems, but for the price, it is definitely worth it. 3.8? Yeah. I'd give this place a 3.8 out of 5. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you can check out some stuff that we got going on down here. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. We're off to go do the Orlando Informer event, which you guys will probably get more footage of.